Good day, ma'am. For today, we would like to present to you our research, which is entitled Sharing of Tacit Knowledge by a Seasoned Seafarer Blogger in Social Media Platforms, a Study on Benefits to Novice Seafarers. And our group members are Midshipman Galope, Midshipman Montano, Midshipman Neri, Midshipman Peralta, Midshipman Salvidar, and myself, Sinagpulo. Justification for choosing the topic. We choose this topic because it is currently relevant to online learning for maritime students because it is not is that it is not yet well researched and there are still a lot of research gaps that need to be addressed like the benefits of maritime students watching seafarers blog on social media. Additionally, the, the researchers aim to contribute to maritime industry awareness of this topic and development of long-lasting solution to the issues it possess. Due to, it, due to its simplicity of use, social media is a technology that has recently gained a lot of popularity. People can communicate even when they are separated by great distance thanks to social media. Platforms like Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. In other words, social media has facilitated our global connectivity. He frequently uses social media and he is young. All of this makes me question if something so strong and expensive may possibly, possibly be a benefit. It's far more difficult to vlog at sea than it's on land. The ability to combine video, audio, and editing function into small packages is only possible with more, more modern technology. Seafarer are only permitted a modest quantity of luggage when they board on ship, which restrict the amount of basic audio, lighting, and video equipment they may bring with them. In addition, not many seafarer have the type of internet bandwidth required to broadcast or upload videos. Finally, some seafarer may be discouraged by the approval processes, processes with their officer of or business for video footage, footage filmed on board. Documentation of survey. Uh, we conducted a survey to several marine students. Um, using a um, simple questionnaire, we collected the information that we received from the students and then we gathered the data and we evaluated. Afterwards, here's the outcome of our study that shows a different feedback that converted to percentages. Conclusion Seafarer content on social media has been growing in popularity on other social media platforms. Since many prominent seafarer bloggers aim to assist those who are interested in pursuing a career at sea to get acquainted with and educate, educate themselves about life on the water. Some people who work at sea have started blogging in the hopes of enlightening the rest of us about the essential information we have to in order to comprehend what will take place if we decide to go aboard. They offer us with directions on how to prepare ourselves and carry out the main activities that are required of us. They are the one who make it possible for us to give instructions and advice of some of their leaders, especially those who are superiors like us. In particular, they make it possible for us to share this information with individuals who are similar to us. Um, recommendation. Uh, to a future uh, researcher, um, this research aims to know if a seafarer's blogger can really help in the knowledge of a novice seafarer. This will be beneficial to them as a framework and guide for their research, which will provide their study a solid foundation. 
as a part of this research, they need to conduct a proper way of survey or interview in every respondent to know if the research is capable to anyone or not. And also, um, uh, the recommendation about the student is uh, this will be guided to them to have a knowledge and skills developed by viewing a first plan. And to a teacher, um, this research will provide to have insights of teaching uh, and determine the specific areas that should focus more to further enhance the order to make the program. In addition, it is really important that the teacher has fully know the, what is he teaching and know the limits of capability of the student. Um, before we end this research presentation, we would like to thank ourselves, the author of this study, sharing of tacit knowledge by a season seferer, blogger in social media platforms, a study on the benefits to novice seferers of Our Lady of Fatima University, Valenzuela Campus. We would like to express their heartfelt gratitude and appreciation to the following. First and foremost, offer our sincere gratitude to the Lord Almighty for His never-ending direction, which has strengthened our commitment and security. In, and in doing so, we thank Him for providing us with the knowledge, insight, and mental fortitude necessary to finish this study. To our parents, who were always there to support and motivate us to accomplish our jobs, jobs well, and to help us our financially by covering the cost of finishing the project alone. Additionally, we would we would want to convey our sincere gratitude to our professor Citadel M. Nukop, the research research advisor, for her selfless assistance in help in helping us to complete our research, for sharing their expertise and experience with us for motivating us to keep going and to be resilient despite all of the challenges with all of their patience and attention to guide us there and then. From the start, while processing, and all the way up to the last paragraph of our study. And that's all for our presentation. Thank you.